Malvertising covers the threat landscape, which includes a number of different negative user experiences that would affect an end user of either a website or an app. Common examples of this would be like a redirect. So you as a user are going to visit one of your favorite sites and instead of being able to browse that valuable content, you're redirected to another site. This is a bad experience for the end user and then a bad experience for the publisher because you're sending your valuable users elsewhere. And that's a very visible threat. However, you also see things like crypto mining in the background, pixel stuffing where you're doing attribution and uh, stealing customer data. One of the trends that we've seen recently is a move away from core and very obvious malvertising threats such as redirects and pop-ups over to more of what we encompass in ad quality. Ad quality covers more of things that are unwanted experiences. That's a more nuanced scenario. However, that also creates a perfect environment to take advantage. So there's basically a litany of client-side threats that are covered under the umbrella of malvertising. Advertisers specifically should care because one, it's uh, bad for their brand and the, their participation in the overall ecosystem. So if the advertisers pipes are being used to deliver these threats to the end user and through the end publisher, it obviously looks bad for them. And similarly, it causes you know, people to either block their inventory or um, take other measures to reduce the visibility of their ads and the, and the amount that they win in the landscape. Publishers should care because this one affects their brand, so they obviously don't want um, their users to be arriving on their site and then be associated with a number of different threats. And then secondly, it affects their bottom line. So if you have a website where you're typically getting the average user engaging over the course of multiple pages, and that user session is cut off by say a redirect a few seconds after arriving to the site, you've lost that entire interaction. That interaction can then be pinpointed directly to lost revenue. One of the principles behind modern defense is really making the bad actors pay for the fraud and thereby making the fraud less attractive. Um, in terms of fighting malvertising, it's key to make them pay by stopping the actions that they are trying to take on the end user's device, but still making them pay for the ad. So as we think about a solution in the context of human and what we offer today, we oftentimes allow the end ad creative to render on the page but we don't allow the bad action, whether it's a pop-up or a redirect, to occur. This is purposeful because the bad actors on the other end are forced to pay for the ad to arrive, but they get no ROI because none of the bad action is able to execute. And so then that provides a scenario where we are raising the cost of, of the threat for the bad actors and making the inventory that we protect less attractive to them.